Welcome to our series on native Irish trees. In this episode, we're going to talk about the aspen tree. And that sound that you can hear, that trembling, clacking sound, is the sound of the aspen leaves hitting off each other. And it's one of the first indications that we've an aspen tree nearby. You can see the aspen just behind me, but it's also in front of me, out of shot, because aspen tends to spread, tends to take over an area. It's often heard before it's seen. That sound, giving it its more popular name of trembling poplar. It's a species of poplar tree, our only native species of poplar tree in Ireland. Aspen, while not one of the most common of our native trees, are something that you'll often find at the edges of lakes and the edges of rivers. Along with alder and willow, they're one of the few native trees that you can plant in really, really wet conditions. Some of their roots can be emerged in water and they don't seem to mind that. They're able to drink up a huge amount of water and they're able to tolerate being completely covered over, their root system being completely covered over in times of flood. This doesn't seem to bother them at all. And that shaking, that trembling that you see behind me, that's an ability that they have as they're sucking all that moisture out of the ground to be able to transpire, which is allow the water to evaporate from their leaves all the quicker, all the more efficiently than most trees. Just like the washing on the line on a windy day dries out quicker, those leaves with the tiniest bit of breeze will start to shake and that allows them to transpire all the quicker so they can tolerate the water that's all around us here. So to identify aspen, it's like identifying any tree. You look for three things. You look at the leaf, you look at the bark, and you look at the seeds of the fruits. Now aspen is a little bit like willow trees and a little bit like elm trees in that it has its flowers and its fruiting season in spring or early summer. So all of the seeds will have fallen off the aspen tree much earlier in the year. It's now autumn time here. But looking at the leaves, they're instantly recognisable. The leaves of the aspen trees, they're round and they've got little serrated edges all the way around them. But one of the big giveaways for aspen is the flattened leaf stalk. The leaf stalk, the proper name for it, is the petiole. And the petiole is flattened as if it's been squashed the whole length. And that's what allows it to shake or tremble in that slightest bit of breeze. And of course, that's what allows it to drink so much water and let that water transpire off into our atmosphere. Another interesting point with aspen, something that really helps it stand out, is the tree behind me is quite old. And aspen trees live for 100, maybe 150 years tops. So that tree will finish its days quite soon. However, the root system stays alive in the ground. And out of that root system comes these suckers. So there's one here, there's another behind, and there's another just out of shot that are all connected to this same root system. So even though that big tree will die off in the next maybe 20, 30, 40 years, its root system will keep on going. So these root systems could be hundreds, if not older again. Aspen wood or poplar wood is something that most of us have used. If you've ever struck a match, you've most likely used some poplar wood or some aspen wood. Because of its ability to drink so much water, it's also quite, it's quite slow to burn. So it's used in matches, it's ideal for matches. It's a soft wood, it's not used for wood making or wood craft, all of that much. But it is very important at the edges of lakes for holding together the mud, holding together the riverside banks, helping slow down water if there's a big flood or when a river is in spate. And of course, adding shelter, adding shelter for all the fish and all of the tiny little macro inverts, the little bugs that the fish, the salmon and the trout are eating down inside the lake. Aspens are wonderful trees, well worth having in your garden, your school ground, your community area, and especially if you have a little wet part of your, your own ground that you need drying out. Mm -hmm.